Thursday, October 24th, 42,713 people in attendance saw a rematch of Game 1 of the series. Jason Schmidt, a seven-year veteran, once again faced an 18-game winner, Jared Washburn. Playing their last game in the Pac Bell Park, the Giants were in the great need of a win. The Angels were in a similar predicament. Ramon Ortiz had a sore wrist after his Game 3 start, and Kevin Apier did not inspire Mike Socha's confidence. The Angels wanted to wrap up the series as soon as possible. The game started just before 4 p.m. Mike Riley was a home plate umpire, Tim McClelland was at first, Jerry Crawford at second, Hernandez at third, Tim Sheeta and Mike Winters were in the outfield. Jason Schmidt allowed two hits and no runs in the top of the first, striking out two batters, including the dangerous Troy Gloss. Jared Washburn would not be so lucky. Kenny Lofton led off with a single, and Kent would walk one out later. Washburn then challenged Barry Bonds and paid dearly. Bonds hit a screaming double to right, knocking in Lofton. Benito Santiago flew out to left, and Kent tagged up and scored. Reggie Sanders was walked intentionally. Washburn had been fatigued the entire postseason, and it showed in this game. J.T. Snow walked to load the bases. David Bell also drew a five-pitch walk, forcing in a run. Washburn finally struck out Jason Schmidt to end the inning. The Giants had the lead, but they were not done scoring by any means. The second inning was very similar for Washburn. Lofton singled to center, and Kent doubled to right. This time, Washburn walked Bonds intentionally. But Benito Santiago singled to knock in Lofton and Kent. Reggie Sanders hit a sacrifice fly, and Bonds tagged up and scored. By the time the frame ended, the Giants doubled their lead. Jason Schmidt, meanwhile, was cruising, allowing just three hits and two walks in four innings of play. The fifth saw the resurrection of an Angels aggressive offense. Orlando Palmero, pinch hitting for the beleaguered Jared Washburn, doubled to right. David Eckstein hit the ball weakly between third and short, reaching first safely. Darren Erstad hit a sack fly to right, and Palmero tagged up and scored. Tim Salmon singled to left, putting the runners on the corners. Eckstein eventually scored on a wild pitch by Schmidt. One out later, Troy Gloss doubled to left, knocking in Salmon. After walking Scott Spezio, Schmidt was pulled by Baker. Chan Zerby took his place and quickly finished the inning by making Adam Kennedy fly out. Brendan Donnelly, replacing Jared Washburn, pitched a 1-2-3 inning in the fifth. This would be a rarity for the Angels pitchers on that day. Zerby, meanwhile, struggled in the sixth, giving up a single to Benji Molina and a double to Benji Gill. Molina, despite being slower than most players in the league, scored on David Eckstein's ground out. Zerby managed to retire Darren Erstad for the second out, but was replaced by Felix Rodriguez when Tim Salmon came to bat. Salmon grounded out. Ben Weber replaced Donnelly in the bottom sixth. With two outs, he allowed a rich release single to left. Jeff Kent, quiet for most of the series, hit a home run to left center. Barry Bonds hit a double to left, and Benito Santiago was walked intentionally. But Sean Dunst, coming off the bench, struck out. The Giants were in complete control of the game. Weber continued his struggles in the seventh. J.T. Snow led off with a single, and David Bell was hit by a pitch. Tsuyoshi Shinjo advanced the runners with a sack bunt, and Kenny Lofton hit a triple to center, knocking in both runners. On the play, Darren Baker, Dusty Baker's grandson and the Giants' bad boy, came in to pick up the bat before the play was over. In the memorable and uh, unrepeatable moment, Snow stepped on the plate and grabbed Darren Baker, pulling him to safety. Weber was replaced by Scott Shields, but after striking out Rich Aurelia, Shields gave up another home run to Jeff Kent. Bonds would follow up with a single, but Santiago would ground out. Giants now had an eight-run lead. Shields would pitch in the eighth as well, with similar success. With one out, J.T. Snow and David Bell hit back-to-back -back singles, and Shinjo reached on an error by Troy Gloss. Snow scored on the play. Then with two outs, Rich Aurelia hit a three-run home run to top off the Giants' slugfest. Tim Morrell, meanwhile, pitched to scoreless seventh and eighth innings allowing one hit and striking out two. 
With a 12-run lead, Scott Ayer came in in the ninth and retired all three batters. The Giants won in an impressive fashion, taking the series lead. Jared Washburn did not have a very good showing, struggling with his command and allowing six runs and walking five. The Angels' bullpen, with the exception of Brendan Donnelly, was not much better, allowing ten runs, though only six of them that were earned. Jason Schmidt started off well, striking out eight, but was pulled from the game before he could qualify for a win. The Giants' bullpen was impressive, allowing just three hits in one run through 4.1 innings pitched.